Hi, Phil Plate from BadAstronomy.com here. Today is March 19th, 2008 as I film this, and tonight is the vernal equinox, what we here in the United States call the first day of spring. Now there are astronomical implications about this, and I'm not going to talk about them now. You can just check the show notes and you can get all the information you want. But there's a legend that says that you can only stand an egg on end on the first day of spring. And the legend's totally bogus, and I talk about it again in the show notes. You can find all that information. But I go around and I, I give talks about this, and I, I have my web pages about it, and I, I stand eggs on end and take pictures of it. And people email me and they ask me how I do it, because when you just try to stand an egg on end, it's actually kind of hard. It doesn't matter if it's the first day of spring or not. And so I have a technique that I use, and I thought I'd make a little video that shows you how to do it. And then you can stand eggs up on end by yourself today on the spring uh, equinox, or you can just try it some other time and prove to yourself that this legend is bogus. So, what do you need? Duh, the first thing you need is a chicken egg. Go to the store, get yourself a dozen chicken eggs. A dozen is a good number because you want to have a few hanging out there in case you can't get one or two to stand up. You can keep trying and you have plenty of eggs to, to choose from. You can get brown eggs like I'm going to be using or white eggs, it doesn't matter. I assume you could use duck eggs or goose eggs. I have no clue, but you can try that for yourself. Open up the carton, make sure none of them is broken, of course. Now, you can look on the bottom of the egg, and, and this one is actually pretty smooth. It's kind of hard to tell, but a lot of eggs have bumps on the bottom. These are called concretions. They're little nodules of calcium carbonate that are stuck on the bottom of the egg, and they get on there when the egg is pushed through the chicken, and the chicken lays the egg, and the less you know about that, the better. Trust me here. But those uh, little bumps can actually help you stand the egg up because they act like little stool legs and they support the egg. Uh, you can use a smooth egg if you want, a little bit harder to do it that way. You can use the one with the bumps, either way is fine. The second thing you need is a flat surface. You need um, a desktop or something like that. That's what I'll be using here today. You don't really want to use a carpet or something that's rough because that, that makes it easier to stand the egg up and you don't want to do that. You're trying to prove to yourself that the egg balances on its own. So no cheating, no, no putting glue on the bottom or clay or sprinkling salt on the surface and using that to stand the egg up because that would be cheating and we'll have none of that here. So I've assembled my eggs here. Here is my flat surface, my desktop of science. And we'll just take an egg here. And this is the technique I use. Now a lot of people like to put their finger on top and try to balance it that way. That's never going to work. You're never going to be able to control it. Some people just grab it one-handed and they try to do it. That's not going to work either. What I do is I take my fingers and I shape them into a U like this, both sides, both hands. And I put them on the two sides of the egg like this. Normally my, my left hand goes near the bottom, my right hand near the top. I know this is a lot of detail, but that's how this thing works. And then I use my middle fingers just to control it a little bit. And then I just feel for where it wants to go. If it wants to fall to the left, then I move the bottom of it. I rotate the bottom of it to the left. So if it's trying to fall to the left, I rotate the bottom to the left, and that counteracts that. And then I keep doing that, just keep fiddling it. You feel it, you feel which, which, uh, which way it wants to go. And then you just very gently roll it around until it finds that spot that it likes. And then once you're near it, you can kind of feel it because it stops really falling over and it's, it's, it gets very close to being balanced. And then you just use your fingers to very gently manipulate the egg, tap it, or just push it, rotating it, or whatever you need to do to get it to stand up. And as it gets closer to being balanced, you can just very gently, oh, I had it, and then it fell over. Just very gently maneuver it into position, and kind of zeroing in on the point where it likes to balance, and there you go. There's an egg standing on end. The vernal equinox is not for many, many hours yet, and yet there's an egg standing on end. There are a lot of people who say you can only do this on the exact moment of the vernal equinox, and that's clearly not true. Um, and you can do this for yourself. If you happen to see this video today, or uh, the day after the vernal equinox, or if it's the year 2012, and YouTube is now in, in, in 3D and you're piping it directly into your brain, 
uh, you can still stand this up, stand an egg up on end. It doesn't matter what time of year it is or whatever. It just takes patience, as you saw, and a little bit of technique and a cooperative egg. For BadAstronomy.com, this is Phil Plate.